Hi all, John here again. Just uh, I'm going to do a start doing a couple of Photoshop tutorials, and a, a question, well, a fair few questions that have been sent in was, how do you do noise removal for your weddings and stuff like that? Well, just before I go any further, there's two files here. There's there's one there which is the Canon, that's a 3200, and there's one there which is ISO 6400. The both raw files, no editing done at all. I have edited them once they've been printed for the bride. She chose both of these shots. That's why I chose them. And they was both printed out at, at 12 by 8 So that's A4. And like I say, 3200 out of the 600D there. 6400 out of the D7000. Which did near enough the same ISO performance as the 600D at 32 to be honest. So, big thumbs up for the D7000. Right, so here we go. Let's let's um, have a look at this file. Now, I'm going to open it up in Adobe Camera Raw. I don't know if you guys use Adobe Camera Raw, but I most certainly do. And the shortcut to open it up from here is Control R on a PC. Which actually, I've got a PC, but um, or Command R on a Mac. And then up comes Adobe Camera Raw. Now, th this isn't really a tutorial on how I edit my pictures, but this is out of the camera, a raw file. As you can see, I always go on about exposure. Well, there's my exposure out of the camera in an awkward situation with a backlit situation. As you can see, the windows are blown out, which is fine. Right, if I cared about them windows, I wouldn't have had the bride would have been well underexposed, and I won't allow to use flash, so the natural light. Um, so first of all, it is about noise removal, but I'm just going to go do a couple of things here first of all. I'm going to see if there's any lens connection. Because I'm thinking there may be just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Before, after, before. It's just lifted up the shadow at the bottom slightly. To be honest, it didn't really need doing. But there you go. Now, I don't know if anybody comes over to these profiles. But these are worth having a look at. And all, you know, see what these do. Faithful. Portrait. I mean, I, I don't always look at these. But they do, they do give you a starting point. Neutral. Faithful, before, after, before, after. Mm, nah. Landscape. Nah, I don't like that, it's too yellow. Right, let's just put it back to standard. I'll edit it myself. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is pump up the blacks, but not too much. Don't pump up the blacks too much. So before, after, before, after, before, after. Mm, just going to add a slight bit of pink to that which is a little bit redder before after now I'm going to add I'm not going to add anything there just yet right I'm going to now move on to what we're here to discuss the noise reduction so bearing in mind this goes out to the lad who was shooting with a 600d the same as me and anybody else who was shooting with a 600d this was shot at as you can see ISO 3200 it's a raw file it's out of the camera so here we go let's not let's do some noise removal now I'm not going to do noise removal me at 100%. I never do. Because if you do noise removal at 100%, you end up removing way too much noise and you end up with an image that looks blah. Now, I know how much noise reduction to put on this and I know I print A4 and I know that when it's printed you won't see any noise. Well, you might see a shade, but nothing to worry about. So, here we go, 50%. Let me go, I'm going to go straight up to 20. I'm putting 20 on it, 21 Right, so peaky before and after, before and after. Look up near the guy's shoulder, before and after, before, sorry, <laughs> wrong way around, before, after. Feast your eyes, before, after. Now, I'm going to zoom in to 100% just to show you the same. Aha, look at all this noise now, look at everybody thinking, whoa, you need to remove it. No, you don't. Right, before, tons. After, before, after. But if I now re decide to remove the noise at 100%, I won't be happy with that. This is how I used to do noise removal. And believe me, it, it, you don't need to. I'd usually go something like, something like there. Look, I'm up at, I'm up at 43%. Now I'm double. I'm removing double the noise because I'm doing it at 100%. So just do it at. 50% I recommend that unless you're printing bigger than A4 it, if you're printing at A4 
twenty percent is plenty on a on on noise removal. Um, now I don't know if it were a close up head shot, you might need to do a bit more. But I'm just on about as a rule. It's a wedding shot. I'm just telling you what I've done, and I, and about twenty percent I've done. And to be honest, even if it were a close-up, I'd still only do about 20% on the noise removal. And that is for an A4 print. If I were printing 12B18, I've done it before, I'd probably do about 33. So don't remove all your noise. Your noise adds to the shot. And a good thing to do when you're actually doing one of these kind of shots, to be honest, is... Is, what do we do? Bang. See ya. There you go. Now, if we want, we can um, pump up the blacks a little bit more. Forget that warning. We don't care. Let's just turn these off. Because they can be off-putting. And there you go. Before. I mean, look at it in black and white there. Now you can play with your white balance. Warm it up. Cool it down. I don't like it that the back at the back to be too grey. Me. So something like that. Before, after. Before, after. Okay, there you go. That's that edit done. Right, that's 600D ISO 3200. As you can see, here it is. There's the camera model just above my mouse. Right, let's now go to the... 6400, no noise removal, shot with a Nikon D7000, and this was my friend. Control R on a Mac, com uh, com Command R on a Mac, Control R on a PC. Same again. Right, let's not... I'm not going to edit the picture in any way this time now. I'm just going to go do the noise reduction. So straight in, let's go to the noise reduction. No noise reduction done, into 50%. Now, they chose this picture, by the way... I did do it in black and white and in colour for them and they chose it because of the moment it is a shade soft it don't get me wrong it's definitely in focus it's just that it's shot at ISO 6400 which is really pushing the limit so let's do the noise removal on this again now I know I only did 20, 22 on this uh, in fact I'll tell you what I'm going to do 20 no 21 right so before feast your eyes guys after before after look at his face now, when I got that printed, you could see ever so slight noise on his face, but not that much. Let me zoom in. Not even that much there. I'd say on his face, on the print, the, the A4 print. So, um, before, after. I'd say it's somewhat like that on the print. I don't know how good that's showing on the screen, but there, hardly anything. You could see a, a, a tiny bit of, like, grain, but nothing else. Uh, let me knock that back to 20. So again, on the D7000. On the D7000, I've um, I've done the same noise reduction more or less as I have on my 600D. That's because the D7000 has got better ISO performance. Um, so that's why. So there, there's how I do noise removal for 12B8 prints. It could change on um, something else. But let's just knock this saturation down again. Let's pump up the blacks. Really pump them up. Knock that white balance. It's where see how the his skin tone looks grey. I just want to just shift it more to white. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 steady on target. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oops, what are you doing? Right about there. Before, after. I mean, you don't have to do it black and white. I mean, you leave it colour. Let's go back to the colour. Oh, we better sort that white balance out. <laughs> shot you can see a little bit yellow so before after before after or you can take it to black and white and there you go in color and that's hopefully that's helped people on noise reduction just remember don't um, remove all the noise you don't need to definitely you don't need to like i say they're extreme isos i mean 3200s bloody high iso and 6400 it's a really high iso and like i say i did print them out a4 um, I'll quite, if anybody wants me to video in HD my prints, I can, I can quite welcome to do that because I did some for my portfolio and this was one that I put in because I like the moment. It's such a, the photo won't win any awards, but the moment would. It's it's just a moment. The husband's got upset, he's crying. His best man's nearly, well, he actually is crying. You know, the moment's fantastic. And as you can see, my friend did a bloody good job at getting the exposure as well. You know, um, and I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. If you'd like any more Photoshop tutorials or out like that, please send me a video, a link or a, a, sorry, an email or a question about it and I'll do one for you. Thank you. Over and out.